and the most powerful premise that we want to activate within you, that we promise you will serve you for all of the days of your life, is a belief is only a thought I keep thinking. A belief is only a thought I continue to think. A belief is only my habit of thought. It's only a practice thought. A belief is only a thought that I think a lot. Now, why does that matter? Because when you want something and you believe in opposition to it, your opposite belief will prevent what you want from happening. When you want something and you believe it, there's no separation. You are offering one signal and law of attraction will bring it to you now. But when you want something and you doubt it, when you want it and you don't believe it, now you're offering opposing vibrations and you can hold yourself in that holding pattern all of the days of your life. I want it, but I want it, but it'd be nice, but it doesn't happen for me. I would really like to have that, but I've wanted it for so long. When you keep saying those things, when you continue to face reality, when you beat the drum of what is, when you beat the drum of what is, you hold active within yourself a vibrational pattern. A belief is only a thought you keep thinking. A belief is only a thought that you keep thinking and it is only the beliefs that you hold that keep you from the things that you want. A belief is only a thought that you keep thinking and the only thing that keeps you from who you really are and what you really want is a belief which is only a thought that you keep thinking. Did you write that down? <laughs> so if a belief is only a thought that I keep thinking and I keep thinking a thought that is in opposition to what I want, then I keep thinking the thought that's in opposition to what I want. So the reason I don't get what I want is because I keep thinking a thought that's in opposition to what I want. Interesting, <laughs> obvious, but interesting in a whole new sort of decisive way. So if a belief is only a thought that I keep thinking, what about thinking a thought that I don't believe long enough that I believe it? If a belief is only a thought that I keep thinking, why not think a hopeful thought? Well, that's stupid, Abraham. <laughs> the facts defy it. The fact, oh, well, that's that false premise that we were talking about earlier, isn't it? That reality is static. So you mean I have been building my life on a false premise by facing reality and feeling that that legitimized giving my attention to this unwanted thing. Even Esther occasionally will say, but Abraham, but it's true. But it's true as if that is any prerequisite for what you give your attention to. A belief is only a thought that you keep thinking. And you as human beings are the harborer of so many unproductive beliefs. The largest among them, I'm not worthy. There's no gain without pain. I must have been born under the wrong star. It must be karma. Probably my mother's fault. <laughs> it's the government's fault. You want to believe that false premise, don't you? It's the government's fault. If they'd be different, everything would be different. We want to say to you, take your power back by Remembering that a belief is only a thought that you keep thinking. A belief is only a thought that I keep thinking. A belief is only a thought that I keep thinking. A belief is only a thought that I keep thinking. I'm starting to believe that. <laughs> a belief is only a thought that I keep thinking. A belief is only a thought that I keep thinking. When I think a thought, it activates a vibration. And when it, a vibration is activated, my point of attraction kicks in. So if I keep thinking this same thought and I keep activating this point of attraction and law of attraction keeps responding to this active vibration, then I'm going to continue to get results, not because they're true and not because it's reality, but because it's law of attraction's consistent response to a thought that I keep thinking. So if it's a thought that I keep thinking and I'm getting results that I don't want, isn't it prudent to begin to think a different thought? Oh, but Abraham, that doesn't seem logical. You want me to think an airy-fairy pretend thought? You want me to put my head in the clouds or in the sand? You want me to pretend that something that isn't is? Yes. You want me to fantasize? You want me to imagine? You want me to use words that aren't true? Yes. You want me to pretend that I'm slender when I'm fat? Yes. You want me to pretend that I'm prosperous when I'm poor? Yes. We want you to think the thoughts that match what you want until you believe them. And when you think the thoughts that match what you want until you believe them, universal forces will give you the proof of your belief.
But if you need to see it before you believe it, it cannot come. You have to believe it before you see it. What's a belief? A belief is just a thought I keep thinking. So what did we just say? You have to keep thinking the thought until it becomes. You have to keep thinking the thought until you believe it and when you believe it, it is. It's so simple. We are done. <laughs> So what distracts you from that? Reality, facts. So what? Everything that you see that you call reality was just coagulated, coalesced, combined thought, a thought that somebody thought long enough. When Esther says, Abraham, shouldn't I think about that because it's true? We say, all truth is, is something that enough people or a person gave enough attention to long enough that it became a thought that they thought about and thought about and thought about and thought about and thought about it until it attracted the equivalent of it. There are all kinds of things in your environment that you believe that match what you want. And there are all kinds of things in your environment that you believe that defy what you want. How would you ever sort them out? How do you know the active beliefs within you that serve you well and the active beliefs that are within you that don't serve you. How do you know the beneficial ones from the detrimental ones? The beneficial ones feel better when you think them. The detrimental ones feel worse when you think them.